Brandon here and in this video it is going to be another one of those kind of ranty videos I guess where it's just kind of my thoughts on different things and this one is and as it pertains to Xanthix. Now it's obviously no secret that there are multiple lines of Xanthic, and I don't think that that really does any favors for Xanthic. It'd be really nice if they were all compatible with each other because they all look pretty much the same. Now, for me, I have VPI, and I'll get it right out there. I think VPI is the best line of Xanthic for a number of reasons, but a lot of people will say that other lines are better. They will say that MJ Xanthix are the best and the brightest. And while there are really good examples of MJ Xanthic, there's also very few examples of MJ Xanthic. And they pretty much all stem from Marcus Jane's collection, where he has extremely clean and beautiful animals. Now that's obviously not a bad thing. However, there is something to be said about line breeding. Now, what I think is going to happen is that you're going to have MJ Xanthics that are bred into other animals and overall the quality is just going to start to go down. You are going to get animals that darken up, muddy up, and overall are not going to be looking the same as they do now. And that's not me just wishing poorly upon that project or the bias of VPI being better or whatever. And I'll get to the reasons why I think VPI is the superior line. But with the MJ line, you are going to end up having an overall decrease in quality as soon as those animals are being produced in quantity, especially once they are being made by a bunch of different people, being bred into other animals, being bred into other projects. Eventually they are going to be getting away from the selectively bred look that Marcus Jane had with those animals. So overall, all of the Xanthix do the same exact thing, right? They remove that pigmentation from the animal, creating a gray and black snake. Also something to consider is, with the direction of Xanthic in the market currently, pretty much everybody's putting those animals into Desert Ghost. Now, when you're mixing it in with Desert Ghost, it almost doesn't really matter what the line looks like because they all end up looking the same. You get the benefits of Desert Ghost, which are going to lighten and brighten the animal. And overall, you're going to create a very similar look between all the different lines of Xanthic. So with Desert Ghost and Xanthic, again, it doesn't really matter which one you use, which I would argue the main ones right now are basically going to be VPI, TSK, and MJ line Xanthic. Now, let's talk a little bit about what I think is the biggest, I guess, feature and why um, VPI is my preferred line and why if I were recommending Xanthic to anybody, I would select VPI. Now, if you go into Morph Market and you look up the number of Xanthic animals that are available, you will find that VPI has 567 animals available. TSK has 163 animals available. And MJ has three animals available. And that's within the US and Canada. And I obviously didn't comb through every one of those ads to make sure they were all visuals, but that's where we're at. Now, you may say to yourself, okay, well, with there only being three MJ line Xanthic animals available, that there's a lot of opportunity. And while I do agree with you, that would mean that there is a lot of opportunity for you to do what you want to do, create your own path, do your own thing. That also says to me, that is the smallest customer base. That also says to me, that you are going to have to pay way more to be able to get into that project because of how little there is that has been done with it. And when you look at say TSK with, how many animals was it? 163 available. So again, a little bit more of a demand, but for me personally, if I were going to be getting into TSK Xanthic, I would probably just go to the guy who's 
made it the best. I'd go to JD, right? So at the end of the day, it would be you competing with the guy for Exanthic. It would be you competing with JD to try and convince people that your TSK animals are better than his. And I think that honestly is just a rough sell. Sorry for the darkness. I am within the shadows. And I don't think that that really is a bright move. So because you are competing against the person that really does it the best. And overall, that leads me to kind of get to my point of why I think VPI is superior. The shadows were bugging me. I had to fix the exposure. So as I was saying, so that leads me to get to why VPI is superior. Now, it may sound like, okay, well, there's 567 VPI line examples, 567 exanthics, not examples, rather. And that may sound like a lot, and that does sound like a lot of competition, right, in comparison to 150 and three. However, that also says, hey, there are a lot of customers within this space. There are a lot of people working within the VPI projects. And on top of that, obviously you could get a VPI line animal, just straight VPI for basically the same as you could get a TSK. And I feel like their pricing is very similar, right? So choose what you want there. But whenever you start getting into combinations, mutations, things like that, the VPI line animals, your dollar is gonna go way further. A VPI pied is gonna be way, way less expensive than say, a MJ pied and that's because there's a lot more of them out there which at the end of the day means your dollar is going to go a lot further whenever you're doing that you know kind of pairing or that situation to either build out your collection or build out a project for your collection so another benefit being into VPI is one a lot of that work is already kind of done for you as far as like if you wanted to get say an exanthic clown an exanthic pied different things like that those animals are already out there and fairly reasonably priced so that really saves you a couple years work where you're not going to have to do the double hat pairings raise them up hope to hit the odds rinse and repeat you already have options out there to get those genetics into your projects without it costing you quite literally an arm and a leg. So just to recap on some of the points, I think that VPI, while is the most saturated, also is the most reasonable in terms of competition because I feel like everybody is at a decent playing field. There's not really gonna be favorites within the VPI Exantic projects as far as like people to buy stuff from. You're also gonna be in an advantage for what you're able to get for the dollar value, which I think is huge. And overall, it's the one that's worked with the most. So it's gonna be the one that's least friction. It wouldn't make sense for somebody to sell off all of their BPI stuff just to get into MJ, to then have an uphill battle to try and show people while MJ is better when people would have to sell off years of projects and different things like that. It just doesn't make sense. So to recap on why I find VPI to be the superior line of Exanthic, it's mostly going to be due to the ease of marketability. You're not having to convince people to either abandon the line that they've already put effort into to get a better line. And also, you're not going to be competing with the guy that's basically known for Exanthic. So with VPI, there's a wider market base. There isn't anyone that's known specifically for being the guy. And I think that gives people a lot of opportunity if you make cool stuff where there is going to be a interest in your projects, regardless of kind of the name that you've created for yourself. And I think with Desert Ghost specifically being the focus of being put into Exanthic to make the brightest, cleanest Exanthic, it really doesn't matter. And all of them are basically going to end up looking the same. It's just a matter of what you can put into it that is also going to improve those animals. So with all that being said, let me know 
what your preferred line of Xanthic is. If you are working in Xanthic, and if you think it would be smart for somebody to abandon a line to join a less saturated line, or vice versa. If you're somebody that has bought into MJ and you decided, hey, maybe I need to have a larger market base, or even TSK, if you got into TSK, or even like Black Exanthic, because now that's, you know, compatible or whatever, different lines, it's a whole mess. Either way, again, it would be nice if all Exanthics were the same. If they were all compatible with another, then I wouldn't even have to make this video. Again, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks for taking your time to watch this video, and I will see you in the next one.